Hey Defenders, welcome back. In the last video, we started to import Alien Vault data into our OpenCTI instance. And in this video, I want to show you guys how we can connect to our own MISP instance so that we can start to bring in MISP events into our OpenCTI platform. If you haven't checked out the first two uh, OpenCTI deployment videos, I highly recommend you guys checking that out uh, prior to moving on with this video. And I will link those in the description below, but let's go ahead ahead and kick things off. So I'm on my OpenCTI instance, and then I'm also on my MISP instance here as well. So what we're actually going to do is similar to the last video with our Alien Vault connector, we're going to deploy our MISP connector. So I'll go into the MISP directory here, and I will select our docker compose.yaml file and go ahead and select the raw and copy from the connector dash misp all the way down to our restart always. And I'll go ahead and put that in my buffer and head over to Portainer, which I, again, uh, which I've explained in the last two videos. I'm using Portainer to manage my Docker stack, uh, but I'm going to go into my OpenCTI stack, go into editor. And just like what we did with the alien vault connector, we are now going to add our misp connector. So I'll, make a new entry there and just paste what was in my buffer. And I'm going to copy the depends on OpenCTI so that we tell Docker, I want you to run this container only if the OpenCTI one is running. Uh, and now let's make our config changes. So again, like with the alien vault one, we need to change our OpenCTI URL that we're pointing to. So we can just copy uh, one of our previous connector ones here and paste that there. We need to set our open CTI token again to our admin token environment variable here that we've created, that we created with the install of open CTI originally. And then we need to get a, and then we need to generate a UUID again. So I'll select generate random UUID and I'll generate and copy that and head over to my portainer and paste that in there and okay that's starting to look good now we can scroll down and now we need to actually configure our misp url and then our misp uh, api key as well so if i go to my misp uh, url my misp box is listening on at this address here so i'm going to copy i'm going to copy that and then for my url i will paste that in there i'm going to get rid of the slash the reference URL will default to whatever is within our URL value, so that's fine. Uh, and then now we need to generate our API key. So I'll go ahead and go into MISP, uh, go into administration and select the list auth keys. And I need to log back in. And let me go ahead and go into administration, list auth keys, and I'm going to add an authentication key. Uh, for allowed out P's, I'll just make it anywhere and it'll be assigned associated with my admin user. You could of course create your own uh, user and give it less uh, permissions. This one will have the admin permission. So I wouldn't advise using this in a production environment. I would advise creating a new user and uh, generating an auth key for a user with lower privileges. But we now have our auth key created. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this value and within Portainer again, I am going to change our misp key environment to an environment variable to our uh, api value here so that's looking good and then uh, there's a lot of settings you can make with this uh, so you can go through these uh, if you want the one i'm going to highlight on is the misp import tags um, so what this will do is tell OpenCTI which events we want to bring in and in this config, we're telling it any any event with the tag OpenCTI import or type OSINT, I want you to ingest. So if we go to our MISP instance and look at some of our events here, you'll see all these tags, right? So if we wanted to bring, if we wanted OpenCTI to bring in everything with a TL with the tag TLP green, like what we see here, we would within our config. We would just do a comma and say TLP and green. And so that went, so then when OpenCTI makes the API called the MISP to import events, 
anything it'll search for any event with the tag tlp uh green what i'm going to do is actually create a tag and call it open cti import so i'm going to go ahead and remove this value here and before i deploy this i'll go ahead and create this tag so if i go and in, back into my misp instance uh i will go into event actions and add tag and for the name i'm going to call it open cti and import so that looks good uh color i'll just yeah give it a color of i'll just randomly select a color i like blue that's my favorite color so i'll pick a blue and i will go ahead and select submit so now we have created our tag. And if we want to make sure and verify that, we can say open CTI uh, import and we can now filter on it. So let's actually, before we kick off our miss connector within uh, Portainer here in our open CTI stack, let's go ahead and add this tag to some events. So I'll go back to my home to list my events. So I'll just go ahead and select a, an event. Uh, I'll select one with this APT group. So I'll just uh, select the event ID to go into it. And then here under tags, I'll go ahead and add our open CTI import. Uh, so if I just go to custom tags, I can now select my open CTI import and submit that. And now this event will have our open CTI import tag uh, that you see here. So now let's go ahead and uh, update this stack to get our MISP connector uh, to run within open CTI now. So uh, everything looks good. Our MISP interval is uh, every one minute open CTI will make the API called a MISP to bring back any events that are again associated with these tags. And all right, so that looks good. So I'll go ahead and scroll down and we will select update the stack. So we'll go ahead and now Portainer is deploying and spinning up this new container within our Docker environment. And that will serve as now our MISP connector. So and so now we can go into containers and let's go ahead and search for our MISP one and just make sure we don't see any errors. Uh, so it's in a running state. And okay, this looks good. So we see that the uh, we don't have any connector errors, meaning that OpenCTI is able to connect with MISP. So that's good. Uh, let's go back into our OpenCTI and I'll go into data and connectors and let's select our MISP guy. Uh, and here we can see, okay, there's a job that it just kicked off. So we'll go ahead and give this some time here. And then this should finish uh, within a few minutes. And then we will see our MISP events start to be brought in as well. And again, MISP events that match our open CTI tag, right? And with that now running, we can go into our analysis. Uh, we can select our report type. And here we should have a flag now called MISP events. And we can select that and we can now see the MISP events that we are now starting to bring in. So we are now starting to ingest data from our MISP instance into, into OpenCTI. And in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how we can connect OpenCTI to the Hive so that we can bring our Hive cases into Open. CTI. So stick around for that video. I think that wraps it up for today's video. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me and I will see you in the next one.